What if KD, Russ, and Harden all played back together again? What if LeBron, Kyrie, and Wiggins were back on the Cavs? What if Jamal Mar- uh, <laughs> Hold on, I can't, I can't say it, man. What, what if Jamal, <laughs> Jamal Murray, Mitchell, and Gobert, and on top of that, Nikola Jokic were all back on the Nuggets? I, mean, I say back as if they were ever on there in the first place. This is a what if video. So what if they were all back on the team that drafted them? Well, you're gonna find out today. Just uh, make sure you stick around to the end of the video and you're gonna find out what if every NBA player played for the team that drafted them. But now it's very important. Everybody in the comments, ask yourself, who will score the most points? Who will lead the league in assists? Who will grab the most rebounds? Who will make the playoffs? And finally, who will win? Alright, ladies and gentlemen, the next section, um, we're doing a preseason ranking. Basically, it will be ranking all of the teams. Uh, this will help you get familiar with everyone, um, which team they're playing for, etc. So last, we got the bum-ass... Mavericks with Young Smith. I mean, Kleber and Powell, it's all right, but this really isn't no team. I mean, Trey Young looks absolutely fucking shook, 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 that he has to play for this team. So I think that pretty much sums it up. Next up, we got the Kyle Kuzma-led Brooklyn Nets. I actually kind of like this team. We got Kuzma, Lopez, and Allen. Uh, that's a nice little trio they got going on there, but definitely not good enough to make the playoffs. Um, as you can see there. Next up, we got the Hornets with Kemba Walker. Wow, could you imagine if Kemba Walker played for the Hornets? Oh, oh, that's right, Michael Jordan. You let him walk away for nothing. Uh, apart from that, they've also got Tobias Harris and Cody Zeller, which I think that's, again, a nice little trio. Next up, oh. <laughs> we, got the, we got the bum ass Houston Rockets. The only good players they got are Capella and Montrez Harrell, who are coming off the bench. Morris is all right, but. Your starting point guard is Jeremy Lamb. Jeremy Lamb, how many assists per game does he average? Career APG. Let's see what it comes up with. <laughs> and he's your starting point guard? Oh man, oh it's gonna be a long season for Houston. Oh me, oh my. 1.6 APG? Eee. All right, next up, we got the Utah Jazz. I mean, this team's all right. It's pretty basic, just like the fucking shape of the, the, the home state. <laughs> we got Exton, he's all right. Hood's all right. Haywood, he's all right. Millsap, he's all right. And Cantor, he's all right. Um, I like the jerseys. Uh, nothing much more to say about this team. Next up, a hey. We got the New York Knicks. You guys don't suck at something. Everybody, everybody, round of applause for the New York Knicks. They're not last. They don't suck doo-doo. You got RJ Barrett, Porzingis, Gallinari, Robinson, Hardaway Jr. That's actually a decent team. Ah. So yeah, I decided to put the ratings in, but gosh. Th this first team is bad and they're gonna miss the playoffs just like they did, th th just like they are going to this year. I mean, the hair, the hair on DeJounte Murray does it all. 2K fucked you up, man. They did you dirty. They did you dirty. All right, next up, we got the Minnesota Timberwolves. We got the nice ass jerseys on. Coming in at 23rd. This is basically what if the, the Timberwolves kept Johnson, Cam Johnson, in this draft and didn't trade away Jimmy Butler. They would still have Levine and Markkinen and they'd be alongside Towns and they got Ricky. I'm not going to bring up Ricky Rubio. That's too much for Wolves fans to handle alongside the Jimmy Butler trade. I'm sorry, guys. I won't do that. Next up, we got the Hawks. Oh, my God. 85 overall rating. I'm going to give you a little sneak peek into the list. An 85 overall rating starting lineup doesn't come until the top 10. And we got the Hawks at 22nd. You guys are sleeping. Sleeping big time on the red Luka Doncic-led Hawks. This team's nice. We've got Devontae Graham, Luka Doncic, Kelly Oubre. G -g um, I d why did I just stutter? John Collins is like the easiest name out of all of the ones I just <laughs> I just named. And Al Horford. That's a sick team. That's got quite a bit of spacing around Luka Doncic to work as well. That's I like this team. They're going to make the player. Like, <sighs> come on, man. This team is not better than Luka Doncic and the Hawks. What are you trying to tell me? 
What are you trying to tell me? This team is not as good. On to the next one. I, uh, I was about to hype it up. Like, at 20th, we got the Los Angeles Clippers, led by DeAndre Jordan, Blake Griffin, Al Freak Aminu, Bridges, and Gordon. Yeah. But 19th, we got the Phoenix Suns, led by Devin Booker with those nice-ass PayPal jerseys. Uh, we got Culver, Bogdanovich, Warren, Aiden. I actually really like this team. It's not like an amazing team, but you got Booker and Aiden, which like in 2K, it is like an insane duo. Next up, we got Bam Abai. Along with the nice-ass heat. <laughs> along with the nice-ass jerseyed heat. Um, Bam looking kind of wild, though. What are, you, what are you looking at, man? Next up, we got JT and the Celtics at 17th with Rosier, Smart, Brown, Tatum. And if it wasn't for their center position, this team would actually be solid. But Next up, we got John Wall and the Wizards. Now, you're saying, why are they above the Celtics? Well, it's because they've got a healthy John Wall. So we've got John Wall, Bradley Beal, Porter, Bielinka, and McGee. Um, so remember, everyone's healthy in this, in this uh, situation. Next up, we got the Kings. I mean, you got Whiteside, Cousins, and Bagley. That's a big-ass front... Front... Front court or is it back court? Either way, you got a big ass small forward, power forward, and center. Next up, we got the Toronto Raptors at 14th. Uh, we got Valanciunas, Siakam, DeRozan, Ross, and Wright. Oh, where's where's Kyle Lowry, the greatest Raptor of all time? Well, uh, you're about to find out. <laughs> Next up, we got the Blazers at 13th. Honestly, it's basically the same team except they've got Jefferson, and I actually really like Barton. That's a really nice fit with them. Next up, we got the Grizzlies. Uh, notice how I did the little cutout. Yes, I know. Thank me later for all my effort. Uh, we got Morant and Lowry. Morant and Lowry. Lowry played for the Grizzlies. Yes, he did, you casuals. Yes, he did. I actually really love this team. <laughs> uh, I'm so funny. Um, we've got like a Love Jackson mentorship going on there. And we've got a little Lowry Morant uh, mentorship going on. So I really like this team at 12th. Next up, we've got the Lakers. At 11, this is a nice team. We've got Ball, Russell, Ingram, Randall, Gasol. That's a super nice team. Um, very excited to see where they go. Also, interesting, D'Angelo Russell is wearing zero. Did he wear zero for the Lakers? Next up, we got a whole two points higher. We got the Bucks. Wow. Team is ass, except for Brogdon and Giannis. Honestly, Giannis is probably the sole reason they're in the top 10. Because that rating does not belong there with the team that's there. Next up, we got A. Hey, we got the Pelicans. I'm actually super excited to see this team play. We got an 85 lineup. Uh, remember, that's how much the Hawks had, and they were at 22. But uh, I didn't say none. I didn't say none. I don't want no smoke. Uh, we got Chris Paul and Anthony Davis and Zion Williamson. And you got Buddy Hill spread in the floor. And um, and you got Nolan's Noel. And next up, we got the Pelican. That's not the Pelicans. And they're not ninth. This is eighth. We got Magic. I feel like the Discord only put these guys in here because of Disneyland. I mean, it's a nice team. It's very defensive focused with Howard Sabonis. Demontis Sabonis. Isaac and Oladipo. That's like a super defensive lineup. So maybe that's what they're factoring into this. But I'll be excited to see how far they go. Next up, we got the Indiana Pacers. Could you imagine if this happened in real life? If Paul George and Kawhi Leonard turned up to the same team. Wow, I'm excited to see that for the first time ever. Could you imagine? Next up, we got the... P Why? I, I f I'm sorry, I've, I fucked up the Photoshop on all of these. <laughs> this is not the Pacers. These are the Philadelphia... This is filler. Filler! Oh, this is... Oh, this is filler. Oh, I love... Miss, I love a filler. Why am I doing a Jar Jar Binks voice? Probably because this team is actually pretty good. Next up, we got the Denver Nuggets. A hey, shout out. This is basically... What if the Denver Nuggets didn't fumble the bag? Which means, what if the Utah Jazz sent their two best players, Mitchell and Gobert, to the Nuggets for a bag of peanuts? This is what it would look like. We got Murray, Mitchell, Anthony, Jokic, and Gobert. Mm -mm -mm. I'm excited to see this team rock and roll. Next up, we don't have the Denver Nuggets, but it's Derrick Rose. And honestly, I'm so happy to see Derrick Rose here in a Bulls jersey. That should, that should put a smile on every NBA fan's face. We got Nurkic, Aldrich. Um, who is actually injured because he just went under surgery in real life. But obviously that's not going to count because all injuries are off. Harris, Rose, and Butler. Next up, we basically have the 73-9 and nine Warriors at third position. We got Curry. We got Thompson. We got an overpaid Barnes. We have an overpaid Draymond Green. And we've got Kevin Looney, who's basically the re replacement for Andrew Boga. But this is a nice-ass team. 
But there's only two teams left to go. Who are they going to be? You'll decide, that big bro. We got second up. We got at 86, the Cleveland Cavaliers, led by LeBron James. Wiggins, Irvin, and Green, and Tristan Thompson. I'm super excited to see this team. Um, look at that jersey. Oh, I brought the I brought the throwback jersey on for LeBron for this photo, and man, it looks good. But there can only be one, 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 one. Number one, we got the OKC Thunder. Average rating 89. That's a whole three points above the next best team. We got Russell Westbrook. We have James Harden. We've got Kevin Durant. We got a young Brandon Clark and Stephen Kiwi Adams. I'm super excited to see this. Let's jump into 2K and see what's happening. I'll uh, drop a like on the video. <laughs> Thanks. All right, so the rules for the um, the rules that I've <laughs> set it on, I've shown you here on screen. Basic NBA rules, um, just with everything automated as well. Uh, so you still have the trade deadline and things like that. Now, I have simulated a quarter of the way into the season, which is 21 games, and that actually works out to be perfectly the first of December for every team. Uh, so we're going to take a look at the standings, and we're also going to have a look at the stat leaders. Now, before I want to say that, if you're going to ask why your favorite player isn't on a specific team. Uh, look at all these players here. Covington, Ingles, Van Vliet, all very, very solid players. They're obviously still free agents. Now, you might be asking, well, why? Well, it's because if you see there, Robert Covington is undrafted. So he started off as a free agent, and it's just it just happens to be that no one's picked these guys up yet, which is interesting. Uh, Daniel Tice as well, shout out. Um, but let's take a look at the standings. All right, so in the Western Conference, we whoa, we actually have the Lakers first, followed by the Nuggets, and then the Thunder. Wow, I had the Thunder winning it all, and they're only third. So that oh, okay, that's interesting. They're starting Jeff Green. They've got Eric Bledsoe and Reggie Jackson. Yeah, they do have quite quite a few point guards. So the AI itself has all this trading block stuff and these untouchables and this target list. Wow, they've got Ross on the trading block. Sheesh. Um. So every team has that, and it's very interesting to see what the AI thinks the best fits are. Almost every team is targeting Anthony Davis, um, so that's interesting. But we're looking at the standings, so let me go back to the Western Conference standings. Okay, so we got Lakers, um, actually doing really well with... Okay, so they're starting D'Lo at the point guard. I, I would have done it the other way around. They've got DeAndre Hunter, small forward. Solid team here. I don't know why they're not starting Ingram, but hey, this is 2K AI. It's very weird. We got the Nuggets. I don't know how this team isn't doing better. This is an insane team. They've even got Evan Fournier off the bench. That's a solid team there. We got the Thunder. We got the Warriors. The Clippers actually are, are making me look a fool right now. Look at this team. They should not be this high. I guess with no injuries off, Blake Griffin is kind of a monster. Like, he's putting up some... Oh, shit. He's putting up decent numbers. Um, then we got the Pelicans, who again, I thought would be higher. Blazers, Timberwolves, Kings, Suns, Rock. <laughs> Oh my god, 72 overall starting point guard. Yeah, they're doo doo. Rockets, Spurs, Grizzlies, Mavs, Jazz. Alright, so that's what. The, oh, 3 and 17. That's tough. That is tough, tough, tough. Eastern Conference, we've got first up six, Sixers, actually. I thought the Cavs would be higher up, but we've got the 76ers. Um, whoa, they're not starting. They're starting Alfred Payton, not Lou Will or. Where's Thingy Mabob? Oh, they might have traded him. Okay, well, we'll get to that. That's very interesting. Um, Sixers, Cavs, Bucks, actually pretty high. Pistons are... Why, why are the Pistons so high? Damn, I guess I was capping. The Pistons are higher than the Hawks. Where are the Hawks? No way. No way this team... Nah, 2K is bugging, bugging. There's no way this team is 6 and 14. That's, that's stupid. But that's what the conference is looking like there. Alright, so holy shit. Stephen Curry is averaging 40 points per game on 50, 50, 90. He might go ahead and win the MVP. So Steph Curry leading the league here. Top 5 is Giannis 37, Braun 31, Lillard 31. These players are putting up some numbers. Numbers, numbers. 
All right, in terms of rebounds per game, we got Andre Drummond with 15 leading the way. Kevin Love actually on 13, that's nice. What? Tyler Zeller is on 12. Man, I am. And Kansas on 12. Oh my God, this is <laughs> interesting to say the least. So that's what that's looking like. It's this big game. I'm going to go ahead and have a guess. It's Chris Paul, Trey Young, and LeBron are in the top five. Oh, wow. Okay, so Chris Paul, obviously number one, averaging 10.9, nearly 11 per game. Harden with nine. That's a pretty big fall off from Chris Paul. We've got Jokic, actually, and Doncic. Doncic is putting up 27 and 8 on 50 40. Oh, that, that's terrible free throw shooting, but how are they not doing better? And then we got LeBron obviously there. Wow, that's that's nice. No one of the Lakers are doing so well. They got just great teamwork. We got Lonzo here averaging the same amount of assists as Russell. So that's what that's looking like. Uh, steals per game, we got Smart leading it. Uh, blocks per game, we got JaVale McGee leading it. Uh, field goal percentage, Ben Simmons, three point percentage. Okay, major first trade, number one. The Oklahoma City Thunder trade away Stephen Adams and 21st second round pick for Josh Richardson uh, to the Heat. So, how are the Heat looking now? So that leaves the Thunder with a rotation of Westbrook, Harden, Durant, Jeff Green, and Serge Barker. At the bench position, they've got Bledsoe and Richardson. So they really increase their bench depth, but I don't know why you would do this because you already have an overload of point guards with Bledsoe, Jackson, and... Um, rest book so I don't understand why they've done this but that's what they've done meanwhile the heat now are running Justice Winslow Tyler Hero Bogdanovich Beasley and Adams of course at center um, interesting that Bam Adebayo is only an 80 of 79 overall in this 2k but that is a sick sick timeline with Winslow literally playing every minute of the match so the 2k AI has done itself very dirty here very dirty okay. Uh, the second sort of major trade that we have here is the Grizzlies trading away Mike Conley uh, and the Jazz trading away Paul Millsap. So that's kind of a swap they've done there. That leaves the Grizzlies with the following lineup. They've now got Lowry, Morant, Martin, uh, Jaron Jackson, Zubach, Kevin Love, Millsap. So they've got an abundance of power forwards. Over for the Jazz, we've got Conley, Burks, Haywood, Trey Lyles, and his canter, Thomas Bryant. Okay, so that's the major trades from season one. Um, so now we're gonna go sim to the end of the season. Did I not call it? Stephen Curry has won the MVP, averaging a whopping, whopping 39 points per game, six rebounds, seven assists, and two steals on 50, 40, 90 shooting. Rookie of the year um, is Zion Williamson, averaging 27 and two, uh, shooting nearly 60% from the field, including uh, a block and a steal per game. Ball Ball from the Heat, averaging 17-7 and 1 assist per game, 1.5 blocks per game. He actually made, he was a 6 man of the year, which is interesting considering he, shoot, he shot terribly for a guy that's 7 foot, what, 7? Defensive player of the year, Kawhi Leonard, averaging 2 steals and a block per game with 23 points added on top of that. Shooting a very, very efficient 50-40-90, that's insane. Most improved player is Malcolm Brogdon, averaging 18, 4, and 6 on f nearly 50, 40, 90 shooting. Coach of the year is Brett Brown, leading the Sixers to 66 wins. Here you have the first team all NBA. Here you have the second team all NBA. Here you have the third team all NBA. Here you have the all defensive team. Here you have the all second defensive team. Here you have the all rookie first and the all rookie second team. All right. So playoff-wise, we've got OKC up against Portland. We've got the Golden State Warriors led by Stephen Curry, MVP Steph Curry against the Minnesota Timberwolves seeded fifth. Third, we've got New Orleans against the Lakers. That's very interesting. New Orleans was, wasn't doing so smooth at the start and they must have caught up. Uh, secondly, we've got Denver against Memphis. Over in the Eastern Conference, we've got Philly against the Detroit Pistons. Toronto against the Pacers. We've got the third seeded Milwaukee Bucks against the sixth seeded Chicago Bulls. And lastly, we got the second seeded Cleveland Cavaliers against the seven seeded Orlando Magic. Seed one Thunder versus the eight seeded Blazers. 
Game 1, Thunder win by 23 behind Westbrook's 33 points on 13 of 15 shooting despite Lillard's 35 points on 7 made threes. Game 2, Thunder win by 17 after a huge 40 to 19 second quarter. Lillard drops 31 points in 31 minutes and Harden drops 26 points with 2 rebounds shy of a triple double. Game 3, Blazers win by 11 to make the series 2-1 behind Lillard's huge 45 points. Game 4, Blazers tie the series in a super close game and win by 4 points due to poor shooting from OKC and thanks to Lillard's 31 points. Game 5, Thunder win at home by 6 to take the 3-2 lead behind Ibaka's big night. Game 6, Thunder embarrass the Blazers with a 40 point win taking the series in 6. The 4 seeded Warriors against the 5th seeded Timberwolves. Game 1, Wolves snatch Game 1 behind Cats 36 points and 14 rebounds. Game 2, Wolves somehow go up 2 games with a 6 point victory, led by Cats 30 points despite Curry's 30 points. Game 3, Warriors go down 0-3 after losing Game 3 by 2 points thanks to Cat and Levine's combined 60 points. Game 4, Warriors desperation gets them a win thanks to Curry's 35 points and 13 assists. Game 5, the Warriors are eliminated. Levine dropped 39 points in elimination and somehow the top three seeded preseason ranking Warriors are out in the first round in just five games. Lakers vs Pelicans. Game one, Lakers lose by 22 points, 80 drops, 38, 19, 7, 4, and 4. Game two, Pelicans win by 24 points as Heald, AD, Zion, and Chris Paul combined for 86 points. Game three, Pelicans go up 3-0 as they win by nine points despite Ingram's 30 points. Game four, Lakers force an overtime but get outscored 15-6 and are swept by the Zion AD CP3 trio as Chris Paul drops 20 assists. The Grizzlies vs the Nuggets Game 1, Nuggets dominantly win behind Jokic's triple-double. Game 2, Nuggets manage to take the 2-0 series lead with a 6-point overtime win. Game 3, Grizzlies use their home court advantage to win behind Morant's 21 points and 7 assists. Game 4, Nuggets dominate and win by 40, lead series 3-1. Game 5, Nuggets win by 8 thanks to Mitchell's efficient scoring and close the series at 4-1. Sixers vs Pistons Game 1, the Sixers somehow get the 1 point victory over the Pistons thanks to Ben Simmons 30 points, 7 rebounds, 7 assists. Game 2, Middleton's 29 points are not enough as the Sixers win by 15 thanks to Embiid's 35 points. Game 3, the Sixers take a commanding 3-0 series lead with an 18 point win. Game 4, Pistons win by 5 as Dinwiddie drops 27 points. Game 5, Lou Will secures the victory as the Sixers win the series 4-1 with their three-point victory. Kawhi and PG Pacers vs the Raptors Game 1, Kawhi drops a ridiculous 51 points, 14 rebounds and 8 assists. Pacers win 109-94. Game 2, Pacers win by 7 behind PG's 27 points. Game 3, Raptors win by 8 to make the series 2-1 behind DeRozan and Siakam's combined 44-point game. Game 4, Raptors tie the series 2-2 in a low-scoring game behind DeRozan's 33, Kawhi shoots 3 of 12 and PG shoots 6 of 23. Game 5, Raptors win by 9 and take the lead. Game 6, the Raptors eliminate, eliminate the Pacers after being down 0-2. Kawhi's 33 is not enough as playoff P only scores 18 points. Bulls, Pacers, let's go. Game 1, Giannis drops to 43 points and the Bucks win by 17. Game 2, Bobby. Bobby, yes, Bobby Portis carried the Bulls to a one point win over the Bucks to tie the series 1 1. Game 3, Bucks win by 20 behind Giannis and Parker's combined 92 points. Game 4, Bulls win by 14 and tie the series at 2. Game 5, Bucks win by 17 as Giannis drops 60, yes, 60 points. Game 6, Bulls win by 15 and force a game 7. Game 7, Giannis drops 36 points and 7 blocks to lead the Bucks to a 116 to 99 win. Magic vs Cavs. Game 1, Cavs somehow drop game 1 despite LeBron's 35 and Kyrie's 32 points. Game 2, Oladipo leads the Pacers to another win. Second seed Cavs go down 0-2. Game 3, mayday mayday mayday. The Cavs lose by 2 points and go down 0-3. Game 4, LeBron's 37 points give the Cavs their first win. Game 5, Kyrie won't let the Cavs die with a 46 point night. Cavs make the series 3-2. Game 6, Cavaliers force a Game 7 thanks to LeBron's 46 points. Game 7, LeBron shows up and drops 46 points on only 14 field goals and has completed the 0-3 comeback series win. Peep those free throws, haters. Alright, so this is what the playoffs be looking like right now. We've got OKC Minnesota, Denver, New Orleans, Philly, Toronto, and Cleveland, Milwaukee. 
Who will win? Put it in the comments down below and let me know what you think. Wolves versus Thunder. Game 1, Thunder destroy and win by 37 points. Game 2, Levine's 36 points helped the Wolves win. Series tied at 1. Game 3, heavyweight favorite OKC Thunder lose by 4 points and are down 2-1. Game 4, Harden says no 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 and drops 40 points with 17 assists. Series tied at 2. Game 5, important game. Harden drops 46 points but Levine drops 45 and the Wolves win by 10. Game 6, Timberwolves silence the world and win the series 4-2. What? Second round, Pelicans vs Nuggets. Game 1, Nuggets take a 4 point victory behind Mitchell's 28. Game 2, 80's 30 is not enough as the Pelicans lose at 107-116. Game 3, Nuggets go up 3-0 as Pelicans only put up 11 points in the 4th quarter. Game 4, Nuggets seal the series with a 2 point victory. Raptors vs Sixers. Game 1, Sixers win by 15, Vucevic drops 25. Game 2, Sixers win by, you ain't gonna believe this, but 54 points. Cancel the series, man. DeRozan drops 41 and Embiid drops 39. Game 3, Sixers take a 3-0 lead with a 2-point victory. Game 4, 10-point win, Sixers sweep the Raptors. Bucks vs Cavs. Game 1, Cavs win by 2 points after being down 17. Game 2, Giannis drops 59 and the Bucks tie the series. Game 3, Giannis drops 50 again and Bucks now lead the series 2-1. Game 4, Bron drops 35 and Kyrie's 33 leads Cavs to win. Series tied at 2. Game 5, Giannis drops 35 and Bucks win by 3. Cavaliers now face elimination. Game 6, Kyrie's 47 helps the Cavs force a Game 7. Game 7, winner go home. Cavs win again behind LeBron's 32 points. This is what the conference finals are looking like. Tell me who you think is going to win. I'm very surprised that OKC hasn't made it. Denver luckily did make it. So it's Denver against Minnesota and Philly against Cleveland. Who's going to make it to the finals? Timberwolves vs Nuggets. Game 1, the Timberwolves win by 9 points behind Levine's 25. Game 2, Timberwolves come out with a close win in overtime. Levine drops 50 and Rubio had 18 assists. Game 3, Nuggets bounce back. Mitchell's 27 points make the series 2-1. Game 4, Timberwolves take a commanding 3-1 lead behind Towns 28 points. Game 5, Nuggets win the must win and make the series 3-2. Game 6, Jokic's triple double helps secure a Game 7. Game 7, the Timberwolves pull an OKC Thunder and blow a 3-1 lead in the conference finals. Cavs Sixers. Game 1, Cavs pull off a 2-point victory. Game 2, Sixers tie the series 1-1 behind and beat 33. Game 3, Sixers win and take a 2-1 lead. Game 4, Cavs pull off a 1-point victory to tie the series at 2 behind LeBron's 38-point triple-double. Game 5, Cavs take a 3-2 series lead behind LeBron and Kyrie's combined 67 points. Game 6, Sixers win by 22 behind Lou Will's 34, forcing a Game 7. Game 7. The Sixers eliminate the second-seeded pre-ranking team and advance to the finals. The NBA Finals are here, and you're here. You've made it this far into the video. Congratulations. Um, put it in the comments right now who you think is going to win. Honestly, I didn't think these two teams would get here, but they are because obviously I thought that the Thunder would have made it for sure because that team was so much better, or even the Cavs would have made it, but alas, they didn't, so... Let's prep for game one. Sixers, Nuggies. Game one, Sixers win behind and beats 36 and Simmons 24, 13 and eight. Game two, Nuggets tie the series at one behind Michael Porter, Michael Porter, Michael Porter's 26 and 11. Game three, Nuggets win by nearly 30 and take a 2-1 series lead. Game four, Nuggets take a commanding 3-1 lead with a very close four point victory as Porter drops 31 points. Game five, Sixers win convincingly and make the series 3-2. Game 6, like MJ, Sixers ain't winning today. Nuggets grab a narrow 7-point victory to become the champions of the world.